Hey everybody, welcome back to Expectation vs. Reality, brought to you by our wonderful sponsors, the like button, check it out and click it down below the video, or else. And also, QCAthletics.com for my clothing line quality content. Once again, 30% off, everything must go while we prep for a relaunch, so if it's in stock, it's 30% off, link in the description, give it a look if you're interested. Let's start off with number 19 here. My two nieces have the same birthday. My sister made cakes for her daughter and our sister's daughter. They will be so happy. Speaking of birthdays, it was my birthday this week. On Wednesday, I'm 29. Last year of the 20s, and then I'm 30. Oh God, I'm gonna be old. And people are gonna be like, you're not very relatable anymore. You're just old. And uh, anyway, they'll be so happy. This is gonna be a success post. I need to see failures to make me feel better about being old. See, it's another successful recreation of Rosanna's unicorn cake. Nobody can fail, the tutorial is too good. Rosanna, I need you to put out a tutorial that's purposely not helpful to people so that they can showcase their failures on the expectation versus reality subreddit. The flowers I ordered versus the flowers that arrived. Okay, wow, that looks very nice. It's a beautiful unicorn made out of flowers and a little bit of cheating with some fabric. That, it looks kind of like a dog actually though. It's like, look, it's got a nose and it's got the eyes there and it's a, it's just a, a dog -a corn and those are its like front legs. It kind of works, it's just not a unicorn, that's all. They added the little thing in the front there, which I guess, you know, just looks more like a, it looks like a little poodle that has a flower on its head. Rocky's Italian restaurant in Calgary, with restaurant in quotations. All right, I assume this is one of their, you know, advertisement images from their website. What, uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Is it, I mean, did you put something in the refrigerator? Did it come cold? If that's hot, I'm concerned. If it's cold, I guess I can kind of understand how something might look a little bit off and maybe, you know, once you stir it up and heat it. But if that's hot, what is that? That doesn't look like tomato sauce. That looks like they just slapped a hamburger patty on top of your pasta, which is a strange approach to take. It's been my life's dream to build an igloo, so I spent seven hours today trying to build my dream dome. My walls kept collapsing when I got too high, and my body is aching from non-stop snow shoveling, but it was a fun day. That's, uh... Yep. <laughs> Quite the igloo there. I mean, I appreciate the effort. It just does not seem like an easy thing to do. Like, how do you... Wouldn't it be easier to just dig it out versus... I mean, I guess most igloos are made from like the ice snow bricks or something like that but man dude it, it must be so difficult to stack those bricks up and cut them properly so that they make the dome and they're all like relying on each other rather than just caving in i mean that can't be easy at all but i'm sorry that your dream home is in shambles i know that if this went successfully you would have lived here for the rest of winter who needs the house behind you but now you know why you got a house instead. Pretty mild, but still frustrating. It just, you know, this is them fighting back against, they're not a fan of the tattered pre-ripped look where the jeans have holes in them. They're just like, you know what? No, we're gonna give you the non-tattered, non-worn, just looking nice and pristine. You have to work to get this look, okay? We give you the basis and then you have to wear it out into submission, all right? We just didn't mention the fact that it, it's going to take about five to ten years of heavy use rolling on concrete and streets and taking it to construction sites, and then it will look like this eventually. Attempted Prue Matcha Mill. Prue. Oh, Prue's from. Right. I thought that. Was... Anyway, Great British Bake Off, of course. Matcha Mille Mille Crepe Cake. Oh, right. I actually. I did see this. I saw this on the, the episode, because I've watched the Great British Bake Off, and this thing looked like a huge pain to make. Oh my god, it looked like a massive pain. Did it work out? It worked out pretty well, actually. You have to do so many layers on this thing. Oh my god, and they're all supposed to be like perfectly done, and layers, and fluffy, and anyway, yeah. Basically everything that they do on that show is pretty impressive and the reason why I know it's very impressive even though they make it look easy is because on certain ones they'll just like add macarons as an afterthought just to like spice up the decoration on their dish and I have tried to make a macaron before 
It doesn't go well. It's very difficult. I don't know why. I'm very inept, obviously. But they just, the people on there do it as an afterthought without thinking. It's just like, oh yeah, some, some easy macarons that I made while I was also doing this other cake. And I'm just like, but how? I posted this on Facebook a while ago, but I think it belongs here too. I found this at Value Village. I think she hates... <laughs> Inflatable wizard hat for cats. Magic cats love it. Well, obviously the problem is your cat's not magic. All right, your cat's just a normal loser cat. Look, that's a magic cat right there. Definitely didn't involve any Photoshop or sedation of the cat to get that photo. <laughs> All right, not magic, magic. Get good. Pizza perfection. Pizza pesto. What do we have? Oh, just a little bit less toppings than we're, we're expected, right? They're not the most even topping distribution. Hey, you know what? At least you didn't get bamboozled by the little, the window in, you know, where they just focus all the toppings on the little spot where you can see through the plastic and then there's nothing else anywhere else. At least here it was just like, no, nah, we're just not gonna, just not gonna do that. Mm -mm. Just not gonna look like what the distribution on the box. I'm sure they have like a very specific requirement. It's like Subway, where Subway is like we put one, two, three pieces of salami on your sandwich. No more, no less. One, two, three slices of turkey. Whereas you go to a deli and they're just like, have the meat, have all of it. We're just gonna slice it all off. We don't count. Does it look stacked to the sky? No, then we add more. Saw this on AliExpress. Oh, oh, I was like, wait, did you, was this the product photo? Okay, this is the product photo on AliExpress, and this is what you got. Why? It got, it became very long. It's like a very subtle difference, actually. Just the tail became a little stubbier, the body became a little tubbier, and uh, it just, it looks like it has some kind of insect mandible coming off the face rather than... Just, it's very subtle though, but all the differences combined really really create something that doesn't look like it would it would survive very long in the in the wild because I don't I don't think those legs would support the entire mass. I'm pretty sure those legs would just crumble and then the entire thing would just be on the ground like a log. Have a nice day. Well that's just that's just cheating. Are you serious? Come on, man. And then I assume you, you just don't bother to look on the other side or the other sides are just covered up by labels so you can't see the back. And you're like, this is interesting. Why is it, I can't see any of the salmon on the on the other side. That's really disappointing. Cause I love me some smoked salmon. Usually I'd have it on a bagel and cream cheese, but you know, it sometimes works on bread as well. It'd be better with a bagel, like hundred percent. Could use a little bit more cream cheese than that. It's like the worst is they're not even generous with the cream cheese. On the other hand, you go to a deli and they give you way too much cream cheese and too much lox sometimes. You like take a mouthful and then the, or you take a bite and the cream cheese just comes like pouring out, exploding off the sides. And I've told delis to go like light on the cream cheese before and the, even their light cream cheese is still like spilling out. And I'm like, I get your generosity and I appreciate it, but but the it's a little much. It makes it a little bit too much of just a goopy thing rather than having the firm texture of the bread. But I'd still take that over this trickery cheating how could you dollar store puzzle five missing pieces also not the same picture at all that's gotta be the most frustrating thing to get a puzzle and have missing pieces and the problem is you're gonna be you're gonna gaslight yourself and be like i must have lost the pieces right like there's no way it just came with missing pieces because that's there's no way no one would ever be that diabolical to ship a puzzle with missing pieces. They would, they just, they wouldn't do that. There's no way they would do that, right? That takes an extra level of just like stupidity at the factory, right? Because the puzzle starts off as just a sheet of cardboard. It's just the image. And then a stamp comes down and goes shink. I don't know why that's the sound of shink of, of cutting the puzzle. And then the, like the pieces are there. Somehow between the, the thing coming down and it going and being swept into the box, pieces just disappeared. That seems like deliberate trolling on the assembly line of someone just reaching and being like, I'm just gonna take a few of these just to ruin somebody's day. My sketch of a cake I wanted to make versus the reality. Pretty darn proud, best cake to date. Everything is handmade myself and I'm a self-taught baker slash cake decorator. Stop being good at things. All right, it's a cool little cake sketch and then it looks even better than the, than the drawing. 
You're even better at baking than you are drawing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You made a cool fondant. Cheshire cat and clock and stuff like that. Whatever. You should be satisfied with your nice baking that looks even better than what you visualize there. I Whatever, dude. Whatever. I was expecting more failure on the subreddit. You're actually good at this. I'm pretty proud of my second loaf of bread ever. Are we getting more successes? Stop with the success. No, that looks really good. God, I love bread and I want bread really badly now. Bread is so delicious. I had this nice loaf of bread that I was given after my New Year's meal with the chef who came over and it was really good bread from like some magical 20 year old sourdough starter recipe that he has and it was really good and now I want more, oh my goodness. Disco pants from Amazon. I mean, they kind of look like disco pants, right? It's I mean, I don't expect I'm gonna look exactly like the guy who's modeling the pants in the image. Also, the body types are probably a little bit different. I don't know, it just kind of is that way. I don't know if the issue is that, are they like slightly see-through? No, I don't think they are, it just, I don't know, man. They look like the disco paints to me. They're, maybe they're just like slightly long or a little bit baggy at the ground and dragging. But other than that, I don't know. I feel like even if I got the exact same product, if it was something and I tried to model it, I would I would look silly as well. It's just this is why modeling is a profession is because they're they know how to do it better than the average person. Like I when I try to model my quality content clothing and then I see the result in photos, I'm just like. Ugh. This is bad, but sure, I guess we'll use them and I'll post them on Instagram. At least on Instagram, people won't judge me as hard as just the general public who doesn't know why. Why did they choose this guy as the model? If anyone ever, like, stumbled across the website and there were just my photos modeling the thing, they'd be like, why this guy? He's not cut out for this. Why did he, how did he get into modeling? Whose son is he that he was brought into this project? My girlfriend was adamant she could make a cake exactly like the one on the left. This is what she rustled up. Six out of ten, honestly. Buttercream always tastes good. That's what I always say. Even if it looks bad, it's gonna taste good. It's, uh, you know, I can empathize with this because I've attempted to apply frosting to a cake before. Uh, in a Nerdy Nummies video, it's not that easy to get a nice uniform coating. So, yeah, it just, it, I can see how it would end up a, a little bit chunky and stuff and then getting like a really nice shiny gloss chocolate finish on the top with the dripping oh just forget about that i have no i have no idea how in a million years i'd, I'd make that look pretty but yeah like hey tastes good right after two months of waiting i finally got my mystery tent box very sorry that we did not survive this crisis this mystery tent box will be sold at a cost price of 12 dollars. if you like it shop now wait what is a mystery tent box you just get a you get a surprise tent inside the box? I'm really confused. It, <laughs> well, why do you get a mystery tent box? Don't you want to know what kind of tent you're getting? Isn't that kind of important? Like you might get something that fits two people or you could get this gargantuan thing that fits like 10. Why do you want to leave that up to chance? Isn't that kind of important to know for your future camping trip? Like that just doesn't seem like something you want to random and then you end up with the emergency shelter. <laughs> I mean, who knows? That could have been part of the options of what you could get. You could get anything from the gargantuan I've won the lottery tent all the way down to something that's just gonna fit one person in a life or death situation. And uh, you just, you drew the short straw. Tried to copy this cake and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, whatever, it looks even better than the original because your mushroom stems aren't even chunky. They're very uniform and nice. And, and I honestly prefer the faces without the nose dots. I think that the smiley faces look better without the, the nose dot. And then you have the surprised mushroom down there. Like, whoa, I can't believe I'm so short. Well, get used to it, mushroom. I'm like that too. And, and then the mushrooms on top actually look like nice smoother stems. Yeah, whatever, it's good. And then you were like, oh, I'm really good at these frogs. I'll make two of them. So yeah, congratulations on a good job, whatever. And then the top for last month, Spike. Sleeping in the grass, expectation, <laughs> reality. I don't know if it's saying that you're gonna get a lot of bugs crawling over you or if it's just talking about the fact that grass is real itchy. So 
I mean, it could go both ways. Maybe it's both you get insects crawling on you, and also, it's just uncomfortable and itchy. Laying in grass is awful. I hate grass. Sure, it looks nice. It's a good way to cover an area, but also, oh my goodness. Like, if you ever have to dive after a, a sports ball or something and catch it and you roll in the grass, then you're just like, well, I'm gonna be itchy for a while now. This is great. Freaking grass. How can we subject kids to this at school and they're roughhousing and tackling each other and playing sports ball and they're just gonna be itchy after the fact and get grass stains on all their stuff. Possibly even bugs on them. It's just, it's terrible what we do to these kids. That's it for the last month of Expectation versus Reality. Make sure to like if you liked. It's a great sponsor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Check out the playlist for more Expectation versus Reality. Or you can just watch the last Expectation versus Reality with the end screen over here. Latest Marin Music upload down below it. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.